everyone, um, I'm Nick from Master Vault. Welcome to Gothenburg, uh, home of Volvo. The Volvo 65s have just arrived in the last few days from um, Cardiff and uh, they're welcome to this wonderful city that's steeped in maritime history from the early days of the Vikings through to hosting the fourth edition of this race in the last 10 years. And we're going to be looking at how the Master Vault equipment integrates into the BNG platform on the Volvo 65s. And we're also going to be chatting to Johannes Carlson from Volvo Penta about how his engines on these boats um, drive our Master Vault alternators that ultimately put power into the batteries and then power the systems on the boats. So before we do that, we've got a few jobs to do uh, to get the boats ready for the next leg. So we're on the deck of Vestas and uh, we're going to go down below, take a look inside and we're going to be talking about integration. So we've got a load, load of Master Vault equipment in here. We've got a DC500 and a shunt. The regulators that drive the alternators here. Two alternators, two regulators, two batteries. So the integration from the start, front of the boat sort of starts here with the master bus cabling. It goes back through here behind the bulkheads into the nav station. We have a proprietary network which we call master bus. So it's a CAN bus network. So we are sending information and data over the network from our batteries, from our regulators, from the alternators, from all of the master volt devices but we need to be able to display that on somebody else's platform. So the platform that we're using in the boat is a B&G platform. Actually, we're quite fortunate. We just come down here um, uh, into the nav station in Vestas, and lo and behold, we've got um, Simon Fisher here, Sci-Fi, as everyone calls him, who's a navigator on board this boat. Um, we're talking about integration today, how we're getting data from our batteries over a master bus network onto a B&G display, and um, Sci-Fi's got one behind him, and he's very kindly offered to show us how that works. Yeah, we're here in the nav station uh, where I spend a lot of my time and uh, yeah, here we have on the, on the Zeus plotter here um, all our power information, all the master boat button data. We've got uh, all our current drawer in the different uh, areas of the boat, whether it's media or navigation, all the, the critical systems. We have our battery levels here and, uh, and also the power we get in from the, uh, from the alternators, all the alternative energy. Um, obviously the, the, the batteries are really the sort of I've got the system and are critically important. Without without power we can't we can't navigate, we can't make water, we can't communicate with the outside world or download our weather. So uh, being able to see where we are with our batteries at, at any point very easily is, is obviously of critical importance. And uh, yeah, we were very lucky to have a, a, an integrated system. Fortunate um, to be here today with Johannes Carlson. Um, Johannes works for Volvo and he's very much attached to this race. So Johannes, thanks so much. Can you tell us a little bit just about um, who you are, what your role is within the race? Uh, Technical support for for the team, for the whole race actually. Uh, primarily the engines and the installation of board the yacht. Uh, secondly for support boats and other stuff, but mainly this one. We have a D275, a normal yacht engine. Um, connected to a bit abnormal stuff, I would say, maybe in a bit abnormal way. Yeah. Different kind of application for us. Uh, gearbox on the back rear end and front, we have a PTO, uh, power takeoff, uh, through flexible uh, flexible coupling, uh, powering the hydraulic pump and the master volt alternators. What about um, swinging the kill you have when these alternators run? We, um, the electric clutch connects the hydraulic pump, and from that time we um, a full swing of the key is about nine seconds okay. for using using the engine. And um, depending on of course the, the, the momentum and, and the resistance of the keel and, and the angle of the keel, it's more more and more uh, resistance. But it's also about 20, uh, between 25 to 50 percent load depending on where the keel is at the moment. Thanks so much for your time and we'll see you soon. Right, so that's it guys. Uh, it's goodbye from Gothenburg. These boats are going to be leaving um, any moment now. It's going to be an absolute drag race down to the Hague. I don't know who's going to win it, but it's going to be Brunel, uh, the Dutch entry, Matt Frey or Dong Fong. So stay tuned and we'll be back very soon.